Can you see the number two in this diagram? Not everyone can. Colorblind people have a reduced ability to discriminate between certain colors. And if you're colorblind, the world looks like a pretty different place. In order to understand color vision, first we need to know a little bit about light. The light we see every day comes in many different wavelengths. The objects in our environment absorb light at some wavelengths and reflect it at others. And color is our brain's way of perceiving these properties. Most humans have three types of cone cells in the retina, each containing a different pigment that's activated by incoming light. These pigments differ in their sensitivity, one sensitive to short wavelengths, one to medium wavelengths, and one to long wavelengths. These different wavelengths correspond to what we consider blue, green, and red. When light hits your retina, your brain translates the amount that each cone type is stimulated into the colors that you perceive. So what causes color blindness? Well, the most common form of color blindness is called deuteranomaly. People with deuteranomaly have a mutation in the gene that encodes for the medium wavelength pigment, causing that pigment sensitivity to shift towards the red end of the spectrum, and leaving these people with a reduced sensitivity in the green area of the spectrum. So at this point, you're probably wondering why I'm surrounded by monkeys. Well, it turns out that squirrel monkeys can teach us a lot about color vision and perhaps how to cure color blindness. Squirrel monkeys are what we consider to be polymorphic trichromats, which means that some individuals have three cone types while others only have two. In squirrel monkeys, the gene that encodes the medium or long wavelength pigment resides on the X chromosome. Just like in humans, females have two X chromosomes, while males only have one. So, in addition to the short wavelength pigment that every individual produces, male squirrel monkeys can also produce a medium or a long wavelength pigment type, but not both. Females, though, can have two or three pigment types, depending on which pigment genes they carry on each X chromosome. In other words, all males and some females are colorblind, while other females have normal color vision. In 2009, researchers from the University of Washington and the University of Florida did something ambitious. Using gene therapy, they tried to give colorblind male squirrel monkeys a third cone pigment, essentially curing them of colorblindness. Gene therapy means inserting, deleting, or altering the genes within an organism cell. One way to accomplish this is to use a virus. Viruses insert genetic material into a host cell and trick the host cell into replicating more viruses. Scientists can take advantage of a virus's reproductive strategy by modifying that virus to carry a gene that they're interested in. When this engineered virus infects a host cell, the host cell produces the product of that gene instead of making more viruses. Scientists first train monkeys to perform a color vision test. Monkeys that could successfully discriminate certain colors on a diagram were given juice as a reward. Colorblind monkeys consistently failed to perceive certain colors on the diagram, while females that had all three cone pigments consistently did well. Next, scientists inserted a human gene encoding a long wavelength pigment into a virus. They then injected this modified virus into the eyes of colorblind male squirrel monkeys. They measured the sensitivity of these monkeys' eyes before and after gene therapy. It wasn't long before treated monkeys began to succeed at the color recognition test that they previously had failed. In fact, their performance rivaled the performance of untreated monkeys with full color vision. The results of this study suggest that gene therapy successfully gave these monkeys a new cone type and that the monkeys were able to incorporate information gathered by that cone type into the decision making. Perhaps someday soon, gene therapy will be available to treat color blindness in humans as well.